The following content is for educational purposes only. Um, only test on systems you're authorized to test on for the purposes of bug bounty or authorized pen tests. Anything else is illegal and I do not condone or promote. All right, Jason Wellman, welcome back. Uh, it was my birthday yesterday at the time of recording this on the 4th of December. Uh, the 5th of December. My birthday was on the 4th, you know what I mean, people. Um, which is good fun. I've got a party this weekend, which is going to be fun. But uh, anyways, today we have a very fun collaboration with Prowlsec, and we are going to be doing some live bug bounty hunting, uh, more specifically showing a bug bounty proof of concept for some uh, stored blind um, cross-site scripting. Okay, so he's going to be showcasing my tool and how he found this blind XSS. And um, before we get into that, I'm just going to break down kind of how blind XSS works. I won't go through my lab, uh, but it is really cool and you should check it out. It's on my GitHub. Um, but I am just firstly going to go through um, kind of a basic blind XSS workflow. Let's look at this one. All right. So let's say that we have a feedback form. All right. Um, so an attacker is going to submit a payload uh, from something like my tool here. If I just go ahead, if I, <clears throat> if I just, thank you. There we are. We'll authenticate in and then grab a payload from here. So let's say it's this um, full exfiltration script. Obviously, don't use this in bug bounty. This would be more for a pen test or something like that, right? Um, so they would submit this, okay? And then it goes to the, um, the back end, right? So the server receives it, and the server is going to store that feedback uh, without obviously filtering it. So now what happens is the admin opens the feedback page. If they have JavaScript enabled, um, we get a callback, all right? So compared to stored XSS or uh, reflected or DOM, uh, we don't get that visual callback on the same medium where we put it in. It happens on the back end. So to give you a better kind of view of this, um, one type of thing that can happen with blind XSS, and you can do some really, really cool stuff by the way. Like you can, let's say you have a vulnerable logging system, you can customize your user agent and you can submit the XSS payload with your user agent or by modifying your cookies or whatever, because they go, hmm, you know, oh, this device with this user agent viewed the site and then boom, you have stored XSS and when an admin views those logs, tree theft, right? Bunch of nasty things you can do. Um, obviously, you're just gonna do a harmless proof of concept for bug bounty, but it's pretty cool. Um, you can pause this and have a look at this kind of better diagram here if you're interested in kind of a rough um, uh, overview of how it works. I've got a great collaboration with Medusa. Uh, you should definitely check out, it's on her channel. She has some great content, by the way. Um, but where I kind of she breaks down uh, blind XSS and I show going through my lab and all that and 100% yeah go check it out but first let's um, let's jump into some live bug bounty so I'm going to pass this over to Prowlsec hope you guys enjoy have an amazing rest of your day and peace